Hi, and good morning, everyone. So it's been a little bit since I've been live and figured since I need to throw some makeup on before I run off and um, do some stuff with my kid that I come on and show you guys a really quick look. Um, we're thinking like four products and should take me less than about five minutes to do it. So I'm gonna start with my, I've already opened it so I can do it quick, my CC cream and we're gonna just dot that on a few places. And I bet that's enough. Although I have a little thing here. I have a little thing there on my face that I already started to cover up a little bit. So hopefully we're good there. Um, use the big brush with a little brush. Use the big brush. And here we go. Look at that coverage. So the CC cream is the color correcting and it's going to kind of even out any little spots or lines or you know if you're my age you're going to have a few little you're probably going to have a few little spots if you're my age and you spend a lot of time in a panning bed like I did you're going to have more than a few spots that you need to correct and this CC cream does a really nice job of it and since I'm about to go spend most of my day outside I just wanted something that felt light and it does it feels really very light I think I want to put yeah I have a thing you guys I didn't really have acne as a teenager that I recall and yet well, I have this like random weird hormone spot that pops up so we're gonna cover that up nobody wants to see that that's right hey Christine thanks for joining my, uh, my watch was making me think my phone was doing something. And here I am looking straight at my phone, doing nothing. Okay, so first product, CC cream. Ooh, you can see it a little better that way. Second product. This came in my, um, our Christmas packer. Let me show you the whole box because it's so cool. It came in this, the pharmacy green box makeup kit. And it is a three-in-one face palette. It's got a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. I'm gonna use the bronzer. And I got this idea, I wish I could say it was just my own idea, it wasn't. I got this idea from another one of our beauty influencers. I watched her um, do a quick live the other day and it looked so pretty and so simple. I was like, oh, I can do that one. Because y'all know me, I don't do complicated makeup looks. I do simple. Um, so I'm gonna take just the bronzer. That's what I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna put a little on my eyes. And actually, I should probably be looking, there we go, in my mirror, so I can see, guys, that color, it's pretty, pretty pigmented. I wasn't expecting that much for a bronzer. And because, y'all know, because my eyes are a little hooded, um, I always go a little bit, a little higher than the crease, so that you can still see the color when it's open, right? It's just a little bit higher. This is the only color I'm going to use on my eyes for now. It'll be really easy if I want to update later to add more to it to make it a nice um, evening look. But I don't have anything fancy planned for this evening other than maybe to pop on and talk to y'all live again. Who knows? You know what? I may not want to go too high on this. It may be that I'm gonna decide. That's not what I wanted to do after all. Yeah, sometimes I change my mind right in the middle of it. I don't know what to say about that, except that it happened. So I just went over it with the CC cream. And I'm gonna keep it just right there on the lid. Look how quick that cleanup is. See, guys, you don't need to be perfect at this. Um, don't even need to be really good at it if you're me. You just need to, you know, you just need to do a little bit. Try a little bit each day, see what you think about it. Um, so then we find a blush brush and I'm going to use my bronzer on. So remember, we're just doing four products, right? CC cream and bronzer. Kind of add a little, little definition there. It's probably like the wrong brush for it, but it's the one I have at the moment. And so that's what we're going with. It's just a shadow. That's not an actual thing. So 
okay. So we're just putting a little color on, not a ton. And the CC cream actually gives you a nice little glow, which I can appreciate because who doesn't like to glow a little bit, right? Next, I'm gonna go in with my, what's my color? My candy, my candy lipstick. I like this color. I didn't think I was going to. I thought it was gonna be too pink. Um, and I tried it the other day and was so surprised how much I liked it. So that's what we're gonna use next. And let me get my little mirror so I can see what I'm doing since obviously I can't wear my glasses while I'm doing this. Well, I can until I get to mascara, but. You guys, this stuff is super creamy. <clears throat> it dries to a matte finish, but it doesn't dry to either a sticky or to a very, um, just a very dry finish. It leaves your lips feeling really nice. Um, once it dries really good, I'll probably go over it with our lip plumper just because I like the peppermint taste of it. And it gives my lips a little extra fullness which you know, we lose as we get a little bit older. And um, final thing I'm gonna do is mascara. And that's our Extreme Curl. So, so far I like all the mascaras I've tried. I've tried three of them. Um, but I am, I, I have all the others to try. I'm just really particular about not opening a new one um, if it means I'm gonna end up wasting the old ones and your mascara you want to change about every two months I think so um, I don't want to I don't want to not use the mascara and waste it so I have three open right now <laughs> actually no I have two because I finished my 3d mascara I have my extreme curl which I kind of opened towards the end of the 3d mas mascara and then I opened a star look so once once I get to sort of the end of this extreme curl, and I'm thinking that'll be later this month, will be about my two month mark. Yeah, then I'll open another one. I don't know which one yet. I have to see, maybe you guys have some ideas on what you think I should do next, test out next for y'all. Um, so far, I love all the pictures I'm seeing from the girls who are using the different mascaras. It's like we all you know, jumped in and tried different ones first. And each one is slightly different. Some of the formulas are, are similar or even the same, but they are not exactly the same. And we have different brushes. Some of the brushes are made with um, fiber. There's one that's actually got uh, a silicone brush, which is really good for gals who do like lash extensions and things, who are just gonna be putting the mascara on the tips of their lashes. Um, so we have that as an option too. I'm going to try it just because I don't use lash extensions and I don't know if you guys saw, but Ooh, yesterday, um, I shared an article about, um, something really gross and it's like a new, it's a high occurrence being recorded of, of eyelash lice. Yuck. And it's, it's happening with people who are getting these lash extensions. I don't, know how this is happening or why but when I shared it I didn't realize it was gonna put a big old picture of lashes with little things on them so then I had to go and delete it because that was gross and I didn't think anybody needed to see that on my page um, but you need to know the message so be careful what you're getting done to your eyes if you're going to a salon I mean some of these salons are absolutely great I don't mean to diss any of the salons or even the procedures but just be really careful that you're going somewhere with, um, with it's very clean, it's got good procedures and how they um, keep everything sterile and sanitized and you know not using the same dirty equipment of one person to the next because yuck. And we go back in the tube. And remember y'all, don't pump your mascara in and out. In time you're good. There's a joke to be made there, but I'm not gonna do it because because I'm not, that's all we're gonna say about that. Um, okay, let's get this upper lash done. 
and I don't know if y'all have noticed, but my lashes are so much thicker now. Um, obviously, I'm, you know, darkening them with this mascara, but it's not like there's a fiber in the mascara that's thickening it. These are my real lashes now. Since I've been using our lash serum, they're actually growing and growing and growing and growing. And not in the sense that I'm gonna do a measurement and be like, oh wow, they got so much longer. Although I do think they've gotten longer, particularly on the bottom ones. But in the sense that I have more eyelashes than I had before, um, in particular towards the corners of my eye. Um, but I notice, and I can see them because they're a little bit shorter, the new ones that are growing in. It's a little interesting. Um, I'm glad to have them, certainly not complaining. But, okay, you guys, so here you go. This is like, I'm gonna say it's like one and a half coats. <laughs> I put one coat on each, and then without putting the brush back in, I went back over this one and then this one. Look at that. Ta da! Okay, so four products. You guys, CC cream, bronzer, mascara, and lipstick. And again, this is the candy lipstick. Hey, Lisa, this is number 202. So that's what I put on. The CC cream, I use the medium dark. They have really, um, really, I don't want to say bad. It's not bad, it's just different, but I don't have the pink undertones. I've got more of like the olive, the yellow, the, the warm undertones, not the cool ones. And this medium dark is really nice. It also goes well with, um, like if you're looking at the VFX Pro, in that one I use O2, which I don't have on today, but it's like the same shade. In the Luminous Serum, I use 05, which is the tan. That's kind of cool, too. Um, so I'm not doing anything with my brows today. I'm not even filling them in because they look okay. Like I said, I'm going fresh and natural today. And um, as I mentioned, that brow serum's working wonders. They're getting a little thicker. Not going crazy yet, but they're getting a little thicker. And that's good. And, um, and I like it. So one more thing, let me check the time, yeah, I have time. One more thing I wanted to tell you guys before I go. I have been looking all over for a, for a barrette that I liked because, let me just show you, my hair has been like, it's growing out, okay? It's like all over. I don't really have a hairstyle anymore, I just have like hair. And um, I checked just like my usual places, like Walgreens, Kohl's, all over and I couldn't find any barrettes that I liked. Um, I didn't necessarily want like a really big one to just pull it all back, but I wanted something that I could use um, just to, you know, kind of hold it off my face, whether it's like for a live or doing a, you know, a cute little twisty thing or whatever. And one of my friends was, well, surely you've checked, said, surely you've checked on Amazon, haven't you? And of course I hadn't. So I went on Amazon went on Amazon and I found some things. So this is the one I just took out. Isn't that pretty? It's got a little little clip. But it's not just that one. It's this one too. Pretty little rose. They're all sort of antique-y looking without, you know, actually being antique. And it just keeps going. Look at this. Do you know how many are in here? 14. 14 pieces of barrettes. We've got some bigger ones which, you know, they say you could put your whole hair back in, but that ain't happening here. Um, we've got some medium sized ones. We have like the little smaller one that I used earlier, which I need to put out, because I'm gonna use that again. This is even smaller, which I really like. I might use that today. Um, and it just keeps going, little roses, three roses, four roses, and ooh, two more. This one, and finally, this little baby one. Do you know how much I paid for these? Can you even guess how much I paid for them? Take a guess. Ooh, there's one more. Hang on. This is the other little baby one. Oh yeah, I forgot this little leaf one, which I think is cute. So, 14 pieces of these barrettes. Oh, there's two more over here. Look, I missed that one. That's cute, and this one. 14 of these suckers, and they're pretty sturdy. They, I mean, the clips are good. They're not, when I, when I put it in earlier, you know, sometimes my hair just immediately breaks a clip and it didn't. I paid $16.99 and then free shipping with Amazon for all 
of these, all of these. I don't have an affiliate link. I'm not making any money if you buy these, but I will drop the little link below to where to get them in case you guys decide you like them too. You want them. Actually, I'll probably put them on my personal page. Um, but is that not the cutest thing ever? There's like so many of them and they're adorable. I gotta figure out which one I wanna use. I uh, was using that one. Let's see, I don't want the roses. What did I say I might use? Shit, I don't know, oh, who knows? Sorry, that was just an S word, it wasn't an F bomb, so we're doing good, I'm working really hard. That's why I don't go live so much, you guys, because my whole life is like a big old F bomb. And I'm trying really hard to do that on this page and on my lives. So thanks you guys for joining me. I'm gonna like deal with my little, my little hair, which by the way, I really need to get colored again. Um, let's see here. And we just go, whoops, it's crooked. Ta-da, and I have a little bright. Voila. Okay, that's my simple look. I'm probably gonna throw some um, time locker spray on. Thanks for jumping on. If you were not here um, earlier and you're catching this on the replay, please do leave a comment and let me know. I'll probably upload this to YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. I'm gonna stop looking for perfection in my YouTube videos because I'm never gonna get it. I'm not perfect, it's not gonna happen. And I'm gonna start putting more on YouTube and I'm gonna start um, going live more often. Maybe not with makeup looks, but at least going live. And look, you guys, do you see the lipstick? It dried. Okay, my hand, no makeup on it. Ignore my age spot, sorry. And look, look. All right, it maybe isn't dry yet. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, it's gonna dry a little more. Uh, oh, okay, so awesome. So my son's gonna play baseball today in a position that he doesn't usually play. Whatever, we're off to go do baseball. Yeah, actually that's kind of a cool thing. He wasn't supposed to play baseball today. His team's not playing. And one of his um, high school teammates gave him a ring and said their team needed an extra player this weekend. So he's gonna go sub in. And you know, any chance to play baseball, he's happy to do it. And apparently he's gonna be catching. That ought to piss his dad off. He's not a catcher, y'all, he's a pitcher. Whatever, whatever, okay. Y'all have a good day. I gotta get him somewhere by one o'clock and it's 12.30. So um, hold me to it. I'm uploading this to YouTube later today. I'm not gonna do a whole lot about cutting out the bad stuff. Maybe a little bit, but not a whole lot. And let me know what y'all think, okay? If you don't see it on my YouTube, ask me about it because I tend to not, I tend to not like things that that might embarrass me. And when I go back and look at this, I'm sure it's gonna embarrass the shit out of me and I'm not gonna be real happy, but it's okay. So remember what we use today, CC cream, quick cover up, covered most things, you know, three in one face palette, bronzer, bronzer, highlighter, and blush, um, the candy liquid lipstick, and extreme curl mascara. Y'all have a good day, bye now.